Right now, there are no confirmed cases of that variant in the Carolinas, but we are still generally seeing some high COVID spread here. In fact, in Mecklenburg County, an average of 174 people are testing positive for the virus each day, and about 150 people are in the hospital with serious cases of COVID. In North Carolina, more than 3,700 people tested positive for the virus, and that's more than double what was reported in the state at the same time this past month. More than 1200 people are remaining in the hospital. We know that Mecklenburg County is expanding access to some free at home COVID testing kits. Over the past month, they have been available at four public library locations and county officials say it's been such a success. So now they want to expand to four more locations throughout the county. For more on this, we want to get out to WCNZ Charlotte's Chloe Leshner, who is joining us live at the Southeast Health Department location. So this is one of the new locations, Chloe, and health officials say these tests are so important. Why? Hey, Vanessa, yeah, well, testing is one of the most important tools we have because health leaders need to know how much virus is here in the community. That's why they're trying to make testing even more accessible and easy to access. So this is one of eight locations now where you can just drive right up and grab one of those tests. About a year ago, hundreds of cars wrapped around the Bojangles Coliseum parking lot. People waiting hours for a COVID test, some turned away. Now it's as simple as driving up to one of eight Mecklenburg County locations to pick up a free at-home test kit. We just want to make it as easy as possible for folks in our community who are experiencing symptoms, who think they've been exposed or need to take a test for travel purposes, uh, uh, specifically to make sure that we have as much access as possible. In the last month, the county has distributed thousands of the test kits. They offer rapid and PCR tests, and they're now ramping up efforts to meet the growing demand. We've tried to choose a library of sites uh, that have the largest amount of foot traffic, have the are in those areas where we know there's um, uh, more demand for testing uh, relative to the, the needs and how COVID is spreading in those communities. So uh, this extension or expansion that we're doing helps us cover more, more ground in the county. This comes as the federal government also makes plans to expand at-home testing nationwide in an effort to combat COVID heading into the winter and in light of the Omicron variant, testing a key component in stopping the spread. You have to uh, obviously ind identify individuals who have active infections, uh, thereby being able to disrupt transmission. Uh, people know they're infected with uh, the expectation is that they would then uh, obviously isolate and quarantine and not uh, transmit the virus any further. And officials say people who do get a rapid test here and then test positive should also follow up with a PCR test just to be sure. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. All right, thank you, Chloe, for those updates. And now to the vaccine.